Hey everyone, great to see hey. you. Happy 4th of July weekend. 4th of July, yes. Hey, this whole last month we've been uh, going through this awesome thing, learning about how to focus our lives on Jesus and what he has done for us. And I am so excited to begin another month together with our theme focus. But before we get started, let's play a game. Yesterday was 4th of July, so I thought it'd be fun to play a 4th of July Absolutely. themed game. Absolutely, so we're gonna play a game called Would You Rather 4th of July Edition. Here we go, let's play. All right, would you rather eat a hamburger or eat a hot dog? I would say eat a hamburger. For sure, I think <laughs> hot dogs are disgusting. I love a good hamburger with cheese and bacon. Yeah. So good, so oh, good. good stuff. Eat a hamburger. All right, would you rather? Oh my gosh, watch fireworks surrounded by a hundred what is that word? Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas that freak out every time the fireworks go off or... Not watch fireworks. Oh my god. I would for sure pick not watch fireworks. Chihuahuas <laughs> are like so annoying. That's such a hard one because... And a hundred of them? It's 4th of July and like, how do you not have fireworks? So I think I would deal with the chihuahuas. Wow, that's amazing. Um, because I just want to see big, huge fireworks go off in the Good sky. Good for you, John. I would not. <laughs> All right, would you rather... Have small fireworks you shoot off yourself. Or go see a big fireworks display. Mm, I would hard. I would probably say go watch one. I think because it's yeah. like super cool. And I have tons of fun memories in, like, like doing sky. my own, like in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, those are fun. But, but it's but, so much cooler to see But rip one. Sonoma County because we can't really do our own fireworks, know, right? Ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say go see a big fireworks display. Yes. yes. All right, last one. Okay. Would you rather? Go without your phone on 4th of July, or... Go without food on 4th of July. Uh, totally this go without hard. my phone. I would definitely Give me go all without the my food. phone, too. 4th of July Hamburgers, so good. beans, watermelon. Chips. Sodas, chips. So oh, good. so good. So good. What would you choose? What would you choose? Phone or food? Oh my gosh. I hope you all had a fun 4th of July weekend. This month, we are gonna be continuing our theme, Focus. Today, we are going to be talking about an awesome free gift that we can all have. How many of you guys like gifts? I like gifts. I love gifts. I love birthday and Christmas and just because gifts. But we have, but have you ever had to pay for a gift? The question to that, or the answer to that is no. It would be crazy, right? Someone gives you a gift and then they say, hey, oh, by the way, you need to pay me for that gift. No way, that's not how it works, right? If someone gives you a gift, it's free. That's just the way it is. Now, it's one thing to think about this with presents we might get at Christmas or on our birthday, but let's think about something else for a second. Do you think we ever do this with God? That's a good question. Think about it. Do we ever try to pay for what God gives us for free? With all the things that God wants to give us as free gifts, do we ever live our lives like we have to pay God back for those gifts? Yeah. That sort of question is one we need to answer as we try to follow Jesus with our whole lives. Let's head to the Bible now and see what wisdom we can find to help us answer these questions. There is an answer to this, and in the New Testament of the Bible, there's a letter written to the Ephesian church. Now, we call it a letter because some of the early church leaders wrote letters to the group of Christians around the known world to encourage them and to teach them and to help them understand how to follow Jesus. Paul, who, had, who we've been talking about recently, actually wrote quite a few letters that we have in the New Testament of our Bible. One of those letters was written to a group of Christians living in a city called Ephesus. If you lived in Ephesus, you were called an Ephesian, hence the letter to the Ephesians. Now, let's check out the so-and-so show to see what Paul had to tell them. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Is it halls or is it hall? <laughs> Fa la 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 la, tis the season to Be jolly. La 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 la. John, we now our gay apparel. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? Christmas in July, everyone. My name is Brandon. Oh, Christmas in July. That's why all the, uh, is that a thing? His name is John, and this is the So-and-So Show. Yeah. Merry Christmas in July, buddy. For me? <laughs> wow, thank you. This is 
אתה, אוקיי. וואו, אתה נותן לי בוק. אתה יודע לי כל כך טוב. אה, לא, זה לא רק כל בוק. It's Charles Dickens' immortal classic, A Christmas Carol. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with uh, Ebenezer Scrooge? Yeah, yeah, I saw the movie. It's, uh, thank you. What? What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you're wondering if I got you a gift for Christmas? It's yes, like... yes. <laughs> I didn't get you a gift. Huh? I... I don't, I don't understand. I, 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 I didn't get a, you a Christmas in July gift because I didn't know that Christmas in July was a thing. Of course it is. Of course, yeah, yeah, of course it's a thing. Everyone knows it's an actual thing. Of course, they do. Yeah, right? Do they? Yeah. Look, ha- have, I been not a, ha- have I not been a good friend to you over the past half year? I mean, <laughs> ha- haven't I done enough to earn a gift from you? What's the point of putting so much work into this friendship if I don't get a gift on all the major holidays? I mean, major? Yes! Uh, okay, but I think maybe you've missed the point of holidays, and of friendship, and of gift-giving all in general, my friend. Hmm? What's that? Is that my gift? No. Do you? No, it's not a gift. What's in the box? Change! Ooh. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. It's fun. Hey, you will be visited by three ghosts. Ghosts? No, wait, no, no, no. Guests. You will be visited by three guests. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Here we go. Thank you for being here. Come on, come on. Thank you for having me. All right. (gasps) Yes. Okay, let's see what you got. That's great. (sighs) Uh, so who are you and uh, what do you know? Well, hello, my name is Simone. Mm-hmm. I am the guest of Christmas Past. I've kept every Christmas gift oh, I've ever had. Ooh. Ever? Ever? Like Rubik's? Hold on. I got something for you guys. Rubik's Cube. Mm-hmm. I got this like 27 Christmases ago. I'm going to solve it one day, though. Ooh, oh, yeah. la, la. <laughs> yeah. Getting close. <sighs> Uh, so you think gifts are important? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. They're most important. How else am I going to show someone that I care about them? Spend time with them? Nah, too. time is fleeting, but gifts, gifts last forever. That is the opposite of true. Like this stuffed animal from my first Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> this is my hairy bear. He's been through a lot. Has he been through a wood uh, chipper? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a minute. This is a super fun paddle ball. But, lost the ball though. But, my favorite first gift was given to me 10 years ago. It was this big jar of slime. <laughs> it's gonna come out one day. <laughs> Look at there. <laughs> it's not so slimy anymore, is it? Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, I think I see that why you're here now. You're here to show me that stuff doesn't last forever. I get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm actually here to show you. Let me show you. Ready for this? This napkin. I had to blow my nose, and someone was like, do you need a napkin? And I was like, thank you. End of the story. Was that really a gift, though? <gasps> it was given to me, so duh. Okay, thank you for coming on the show, crazy. guest of Christmas Past. You've crazy. You've uh, been a big help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll just get my things. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Here you go. Here. So don't forget. Awesome. Thank don't forget. You for carry the. Oh, yep. this is so nice. <gasps> My little tissue. All right. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, thank thank you. you for having me. Uh-huh. Just thank you for having me. One last thing. Uh, can I keep him? Sure. sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I guess getting stuff for Christmas in July isn't the most important thing, okay? 
but I'm still mad because you didn't even try to give me something. Maybe not something you can hold, but right now at this very moment, I'm giving you my undivided attention. That's not true. You're thinking about whether or not cereal is soup. But isn't it? It's in a bowl. Can we move on to the guest of Christmas presents, please? Okay, you asked for it. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. Wait, Kellen's not a guest. He's here every week. Just go with it. What have you got for us today, Kellen? Well, today we're playing a game. It's called... Who deserves it more? Awesome! Okay, how do we play? The rules are very simple. You will both be put through a series of challenges. You will get points for each challenge you do well. At the end of the game, we'll see who has enough points to earn the grand prize. I have always wanted one of those. Bring it, Kellen. Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. First, I'm going to test your biblical knowledge. Contestant number one, can you name all 12 of Jesus' disciples? <laughs> okay, I've got this. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew and Bartholomew, James and Simon, Thaddeus, and the last one is Judas. Is that right? That is correct! Oh, yes! Contestant number two, your biblical challenge is to name the 12 tribes of Israel. I can do that without a song. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Issachar, Asher, Zebulun, Benjamin, and Joseph, who was later split into the two half-tribes of Manasseh and Ephraim. In your face. Correct! This next challenge is a head-to-head -head round to see which one of you can have the longest quiet time of reflection and prayer. The winner will be one step closer to earning the grand prize. Get ready. Get set. Be quiet! <coughs> oh, so sorry, John. Brandon was quieter and more reflective. You know it! Oh, oh, I think I know what's happening here. Brandon, I am really Really proud of you for winning that round. Aw. Great job, buddy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See how humble I'm being, Kellen? Do I deserve points for being more humble than him? Oh, absolutely. Here you go. Hey, how is that fair? Oh, no, you're right, Brandon. It's not fair. You can have some of my points. More humility? Way to go, John. B -b 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 Bingo! Hey! Not to worry, contestant number two. We're going into our Good Works lightning round. Who's done the most good in the world? Go. I helped change a tire when I didn't have to. I did the dishes even though I wasn't asked. I, I paid for the coffee for the person behind me in line. I donated a bunch of clothes I don't wear anymore. I, I play board games at a nursing home with the residents. I offered someone my seat on the bus. I, I took care of my friend's cat when she went out of town. I got you a gift on Christmas in July. There is no clicker. Time's up. Contestant number one, it looks like you have 51,500 points. And contestant number two, not far behind, with 51,000 points. Let's see if either one of you have done enough good things to earn the grand prize. Judges? Ooh, so sorry, you two. You did not do enough. What? No! It's true. There are some gifts you can't earn, no matter how good you are. Check out what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the church in Ephesus. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. You know what that means? You both win! Hey! <laughs> I thought we didn't have enough points. That's the thing about God's grace. You can't earn it because you don't have to earn it. Jesus already paid the price when he died on the cross for you and me. I mean, don't get me wrong. You should read and know the Bible. 
And you should be humble and be kind to one another. But the gift of salvation doesn't cost a thing. It's free for anyone who accepts it. I forget that sometimes. Thanks for the reminder, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. No problem, guys, and I'll catch you later. Oh, and before I forget, Merry Christmas in July. Bye, Kellen. You know, I really learned a lot today. That was strange. Yeah, it was. But as I was saying, I really learned a lot. Ah! Are you the guest of Christmas future to show me the error of my ways? To help me understand that you shouldn't try to earn gifts, especially not the greatest and most important gift of God's grace? What are you... Reveal the question? Oh. <laughs> Reveal the question! The question of the day is, why do people give gifts? Hmm. What do you think, guest of Christmas future? I know, just cause. That's why people give gifts. Oh, that's a good reason. What do you think? Why do people give gifts? Yeah, and yeah, talk about it together. We'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Merry Christmas. Is he still here? Five, six, seven, eight. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now a gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. Kazoo solo. Kazoo solo. You don't have to do a solo if you don't want to. Hey, I love this so-and-so show, and this episode was super good. You know, I have definitely had times when I have felt like I need to earn God's grace, but that's just not true. You know, it's easy to get caught up thinking that I'll never be good enough for God to love me, and the truth is, you're right. Now, before you think that's harsh, let me say this. Being good enough for God was never an option, mm. ever. No. God never passes out his love or grace to those who deserve it most. Yeah. So to say I'll never be good enough for God to love me is to misunderstand how God works. Yeah. Instead, we should say God will always be good enough to love me. Mm. Remember, it's about God and not us. Yeah, you know, this can really help us as we think about the people in our lives who maybe sometimes frustrate us or get us get on our nerves. You know, sometimes we might want to withhold our love or kindness from them in order to show them that they haven't earned it yet. But you have to remember, if God hadn't loved us even when we couldn't earn it, we'd be sunk. You know, instead, we can try to be more like God by showing the love that he has for us to others, even when they don't deserve it. And one last thing. It's easy to think that because Paul says we can't earn anything, we should just simply stop trying. Mm. And I don't think that's what he would say. No. In fact, the very next verse tells us that God prepared us for good works long ago. So what's happening here? Good works or no good works? It's a good question. Well, it's all about the order. Uh, we don't earn our salvation by doing good works. Salvation is God's gift to us. But once we have put our faith in Jesus and accepted that gift, we now get to do good works as a gift of thanks back to God. Not because we need to earn anything from him, but simply because we love him and we're grateful and he has prepared them for us to do, he prepared incredible things for us to do for him. And I love that. We love God, so we want to do things that honor him and show others how awesome he is. Now, as we finish our time together, I want you to think about this question. Why do people give gifts? Is it because they feel like they have to or because they want to show others how much mm. they care? Why do you give gifts? You know, as you think about that question, take some time to ask, how can you show God how thankful you are for the gifts of Jesus? You know, if you're not sure where to start, don't worry about it. Just start by praying and telling God, thank you. And that's actually a great thing for us to do right now. Let's pray together and thank God. God, thank you so much for this time that we've had together. And thank you so much for the free gift that you gave us of salvation in Jesus Christ. Thank you so much that there's nothing that we have to do to earn or deserve your love, God. But it was simply a gift that you gave us freely through Jesus Christ. And we say thank you to that. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we had so much fun with you guys today. Don't forget to join us next week. Next week. We're so excited to see you. Bye. Bye.